Hello, it's me, Jeanette, creator and owner of Pocket Letters and author of Jeanette Lane Blog. How are you? Hope you've been well. In my last video, I shared about my 2017 master planner setup, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you all about my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, and also a quick demonstration of different ways that you can use this craft staple, <laughs> no pun intended. So I think that this is going to be my last crafty tools purchase in a while. Like after the holidays, everyone's on a budget when you realize just how much you've spent in December and me most of all, but that's okay because I felt like this is such a good investment and it's not that expensive and I know I'm going to use this a lot. So the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher is basically a fancy stapler that's really ergonomic in its design. It's really sleek too, and the staples it uses are tiny, hence the name. And I have this, you know, the stapler that I was just holding up, that little green thing that I purchased uh, years ago during my college years, and it holds standard size staples. So don't get confused, like if you go to the store and you see a small stapler, because just because, like just because it's small, it doesn't mean that the staples are small too. The staple refills are sold separately, so keep that in mind, but honestly, the whole thing is pretty affordable and well worth it. I had a tiny attacher in my work tools when I was working at the Sizzix headquarters in Lake Forest, and I used it often, and it works so well in making quick embellishments like I mentioned in my last pocket letter video, which I will have linked below. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna demo how it works and how you can make easy embellishments and even a quick layout. First up, this is my Heidi Swap Memory Planner for 2017. And as you can see, I've done quite a bit to it since the video where I showed my planner lineup for the year, but I've been including things that my friends and pen pals have sent me. And I really needed a stapler to secure some of the stuff in it. And I didn't want to use like the standard stapler just because it was so big and this planner is kind of on the smaller side. So I was just waiting for my Amazon order to come in with my tiny attacher. Yep, so now I'm just going through the planner and finding everything that was slipping out and driving me crazy in the process and securing it with a little tiny staple. I wanted to do a little corner vignette with this sentiment card and some die cuts that I'm going to pull out of here. And as you'll see, it's so quick to do this with the help of this tool. The approach I take with this is to staple all the bottom layers and then save the top layer to cover the staple by adding a little bit of adhesive and gluing it down, but honestly, I don't mind the stapled look, so it's fine if you don't want to cover up the staple, but I'm just leaning towards a smoother look for this. Next up is a super simple layout in my Midori using a doily, a cute greeting card, and some cardstock and more die cuts. Layering can be a bit frustrating at times, and I love using this tool to assist me when I just wanna do a quick layout. And now, as you can see, there are some loose parts, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of adhesive to hold those down.
In my last pocket letter video, I showed you how to make quick embellishments using die cuts, and I used glue as my main adhesive, but I'm gonna show you um, how to do that one more time, but now with the tiny attacher to help me out. Well, that's it for today, friends. And if you'd like to see more of my crafty projects, then please follow me on Instagram at Jeanette Lane Blog. And also, in case you have heard of Pocket Letters but don't have any idea where to start or what to do, then check out the official Pocket Letters website for your free starter checklist, online workshops, and other licensed Pocket Letter products at www.pocketletters.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!